and welcome to our show. How are you doing, Dior? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. We're missing a person, but she said this is her, is her quote, the show must go on. <laughs> so we are going to continue on without her and hopefully she can join us for the next show. Yeah. All right. So today we are going to talk about Real Housewives of Potomac, season six, episode 12. And it was, it was a good episode. Yeah, and it was. There was a lot going on, a lot of shade being thrown. Um, especially, shady. Right? <laughs> especially at the very end. It was a bit much. Um, so um, it seems as if we started off, the show started off with Giselle and Robin talking, planning their um, party for the girls. Mm -hmm. And it kind of seems that Giselle really isn't over her argument with Wendy, you know, because she still seems to be harboring some resentment. You know, because she was not going to allow her into the bathroom. Yeah, um, and but maybe that was just her being shady. I mean, because she also said the same about Wendy. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Are we talking about Wendy or Wendy? Yeah, you? I thought she was over her. I know that her and Karen have always had beef. Mm -hmm. so I kind of would expect that, but I felt oh, okay. Her, her and Wendy kind of like buried the hatchet. But was it, it wasn't like a clear like, oh, let's hug. We're friends now. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think she's, yeah, she's still a little bitter and she's still probably a little cautious mm -hmm. uh, because it did just come out of nowhere, right. not nowhere, but it was just kind of um, very dramatized and like right. it, it wasn't the energy that Wendy was given didn't match the what will happen. Yeah. That's yeah. So I think she's just, yeah, she's a little bitter about it. Mm -hmm. And Wendy also said it ha she has to take baby steps before they can build a relationship. So I guess, I guess um, <laughs> Giselle was reasonable in her shadiness. <laughs> but thank goodness for um, Robin, because Robin was like, listen, if we don't invite all the girls and if they can't go into your house, we're not having a party. And I thought that was really good of her because I think, I don't know, I, I don't think it was on the show, but in some of the interviews, she said that like, you guys don't see me like really, you know, checking Giselle on, you know, the things that she does. So, and we haven't seen that. And this is the first time that we did see it. And she was just like, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah. Which is good. Yeah. You know? So then uh, we went to Candace's house and Mama Dot was still there. <laughs> yeah. <day nine. laughs> <laughs> which I think would be a lot, you know, for any mom to be in the house, especially her mom, you know, so I, I think that's, she's I mean, her mom has her own bedroom in that, that house. So. <laughs> I mean, that makes you wonder like really how long, I mean, how often is she over there that she needs her own bedroom? Right. Yeah. Just for her. <laughs> I think she's probably over there a lot, you mm. know, and um, it was good that, Candace had asked her mom, like, what were you saying about Chris? Mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. she has to stick up for her husband. Mm -hmm. You know, even if her mom, if that's her mom, she still has to show that she supports her husband. Yeah. And, and it didn't seem like uh, Mama Dot was being too honest with what she said. She kind of made it seem like she was doing less than what she was. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I also like that, that she was not throwing Mia under the bus. Yeah. I thought mm -hmm. that was good. I mean, yeah. They, yeah, yeah, they were they were wrong in talking about. Right. And she suspicion. also didn't throw the other girls under the bus who were asking her questions. Yeah. Like yeah. Robin and Giselle. And who else was there? I think it was just those three. Wendy was talking to her too. Remember? Wendy kind of pulled her to the, like, they kind of stepped back and Wendy. So that was Karen. Not Wendy. I'm sorry, Karen. Karen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karen. Yeah. And Karen. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. But what we did learn, well, at least what I learned, was that um, they have a prenup. Oh, Chris, yes. Yeah. Chris and um, Candace have a prenup, which I they never really talked about before. Or did they? And I wonder, no, I don't remember them talking about it now. Did we see, like, did they show her wedding on the show, Candace's wedding? They she weren't. was already married, wasn't she? Uh, when she got on the show, I think she was already married or not. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I thought she was engaged. 
I'm not sure. I can't remember either. I think she, she might've been already married. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, and, but I'm wondering like, who is the prenup really protect? Is it? Yeah. Candace being Let protected? me look up real quick. <laughs> this will give us an idea. Let me look up real quick when Candace got married. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean. Because if it was before the show, then they would have been protecting Chris. You think so? Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on whatever. I mean, because mm -hmm. her mom really makes it seem like she, Candace had a lot of assets, or I don't know if it's just that her mom had a lot of assets. Oh, yeah. Uh, they kind of seemed like, yeah, I don't think they were married. Um, I don't think they were married. They got married in 2018. Yeah. And so maybe that was right when they got on the show, because the show's only been around for six years. She wasn't on the first season. Maybe she started on the second or third. Maybe I'm third sure. season. So maybe they got married on the show. Yes, they did. They did. Because remember her dress was so hum humongous. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I think so. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so they got, well, they got married in 2018. If it was 2018, that means she just got on the show. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know what they, she had at that point. If she had her real estate um, thing going on, or if it was just the hair company that she owns. So maybe. I mean, I know her mom was paying for the house. So <laughs> that tells me that I think maybe her mom's assets were being protected. I don't know. Probably. probably. Words, I don't really think there's anything else to protect. <laughs> <laughs> now there probably is, but back then, probably not. Mm hmm. So um, then we went to Mia and her her uh, mother, and that was that was okay. We learned a little bit more about where the relationship was at. You know, they're still working on it. You know, something about like when Mia talks to her mother or when she has these conversations with her mother, something about it doesn't feel genuine to me. I don't know what it is. It's just on Mia's point part. She doesn't seem like yeah, like she's kind of acting. You know. Oh. Um, not to say like I'm pretty sure that she's had her difficulties with her mother. Um, maybe it's just how she's trying to bring her story into the show. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, it's just her the I'm way trying. she's presenting it seems disingenuous to me. But oh, okay. Like she's just trying to add to her storyline. Yeah. yeah. Or because she's like always smiling and laughing when it's supposed to be kind of like a serious kind of talk I don't know it's just there might be defense mechanisms some people don't like Maybe. to show their man emotions so they'll smile when they're really upset or, or yeah. laugh when they're nervous yeah yeah that, that could be true mm -hmm. yeah I'm not sure about um about Mia sometimes I kind of like her and other times I don't <laughs> like her at all so it's I'm not sure how I feel about her yet <laughs> yeah she just kind of yeah she's just all over the place like mm -hmm. she just and I guess that's something, maybe that's just kind of a quality that you could like about her because she's just kind of lighthearted and mm -hmm. a little bit of drama mm -hmm. everywhere um, mm -hmm. and not really loyal to anybody. No, no. But she does add to the flavor of the show. Yeah, she, she does. does. Yeah, she makes it a little bit more interesting. And I really and, like her husband. Like, he just seems really supportive and... Mm -hmm. Down to earth. Yeah, so I yeah. think that's something good to have on the show and if they do do more things with the other husbands you know like maybe mm -hmm. we'll get to see some of that um that dynamic a little more between the mm -hmm. husbands yeah yeah I think next week we will because they go on a couple's trip mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah so then um we had that little short stop at Wendy's house when they're packing um supplies <laughs> supplies <laughs> Oh, Wendy's house. I thought we were talking about Karen's candles. Girl, I was like, you could have bought more stuff than that. <laughs> that those supplies will last half a day. That is it. She could have done that herself. <laughs> there was nothing uh, there. But she brought that clear plastic bin out and there it was, was like a lot of space in it. I was just like, 
Wait, what are okay, we doing? I wasn't sure if I was being petty, but I was like, girl, no. you need to add more stuff. And then I got really confused about what it is that she was doing because I, like, I, you know, I have a, one of my really good friends is a teacher or was a teacher. Mm-hmm. And I do know that they do have to like spend their own money sometimes oh, yeah. to buy supplies and things like that. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, this is not really classroom supplies. It more, it seems like more of like a, kind of a book bag drive for children like but it wasn't it was supposed to be for the teachers exactly so I don't know what she's doing yeah <laughs> I have no was... idea and I'm like you really gonna put one folder one pack of crank like <laughs> or pencils and is this for maybe this is for just one teacher I, I mean each teacher I guess is gonna get one of those um backpacks no way! <laughs> what? not for the whole classroom it's for each teacher to have one bag yeah one bag I hope she really had you know how like when you have a wedding and you have the fake cake but in the <laughs> behind you have the like sheet cake right, I hope okay. this is just like the just what we saw as their activity but she really had a truckload of supplies out no, the- <laughs> I think that was it that was it that was extensive what? oh my gosh that's crazy I know I know that's like that it's a supply that'll last half the day for that teacher mm Oh my goodness. I know. <laughs> but I guess that's how like disconnected they are. Cause she thinks that she's doing a lot, but it's not nearly enough. So and you brought three people over. I mean, I know the purpose of them coming over was not to do that. It was just for them to have the conversation. And, right, right. But she could have done a little more. A right. lot more. Right. I yeah. hope there's a check going with that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Right, or some so gifts. put a check in each one of those bags. Right. Like, this is an example of what you can get with this money. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. So um, it's surprising. Like, Estella is really, like, going towards the other girls rather than Giselle and Robin. You yeah. Know? Maybe um, it's- mm-hmm. For some reason, she annoys me. And it seems like I- she's goody two shoes right now. You know, like the voice of reason. Yeah, and I don't know if that's what's annoying to me or just like, girl, you just got here. Like, <laughs> you need to shut, like, who told her today? Just shut up and sit back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, from like if I was in the group, I would probably, you know, appreciate her because she is like, you know, the voice of reason, like you said. Mm-hmm. But watching the show mm-hmm. and because Robin was the one who brought her on I just kind of like I'm not I'm not really feeling her I know yeah I bet Robin regrets it because she's always she like turning her face side. and stuff and I'm just I don't know yeah. she doesn't seem too fun no but I I do like her a little bit but um <laughs> more than Mia um no I guess it's the same because we really don't know anything about her you know mm. we just found out that she used to be a teacher mm-hmm. so but she does dress really cute. So I got to give her that. Mm-hmm. You know, she has a good sense of style. Um, but yeah, the judge, the jury's still out on, on uh, a Scala. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see if she gets any better. Okay, so what did you think about Wendy's invites? Uh, the, um, to the Shady and... Um, oh, just... Can't, no Giselle. Giselle and Robin's invite the invitation that they read when they were at Wendy's house um I thought the I thought the wording was nice yeah uh, I thought it was really cute the wording. yeah yeah and um Miss Wendy was putting her four degrees to work because she figured out that they were doing it to um uh, promote their new business venture yeah oh so, yeah so she was right about that and it's a good way to do it it seems like that's what most of the girls on the show are doing. They're, mm-hmm. they're starting a business and they're using the show as a platform to get that information out there and make more money. Yeah. Which is yeah. Smart. yeah. That is a good idea. And yeah, you're right. If if Wendy could just get her her venture off <laughs> out the door, then she could she could join in too. Right. But, I mean, we don't know what's going on with that. No. She no. doesn't know what's going on with that, I guess. No. <laughs> And uh, I was kind of impressed that um, that Karen put that um, candle, even though the jar is just like a 
horrible. <laughs> the candle and the aromatherapy theme together pretty quickly because she, she only had like what two months since Wendy came out with it to put it together. Mm-hmm. So she she did a good job. But it was just one fragrance, so that's yeah. not like I mean I, that wouldn't take a long time. And she probably yeah. already had the fragrance out because I think it's tied to like a perfume. Okay, right. I think so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, she got it out really quickly. She was make, she brought, she was going to bring it to Giselle's event. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I still, I mean, and the thing is, is that like the whole time she's like shading Wendy, Wendy's. Right, yeah. Like yeah. you can, especially if you're saying that you had, you was thinking about this all along. Why are you being so shady about it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think it's because she feels really defensive. Like oh, she yeah, knows definitely. that people, are accusing her of taking Wendy's ideas so she's trying to she's deflecting mm-hmm. and um but it doesn't have to be like that right right <laughs> and then she did see, try to seem like she was she wanted to help Wendy because she was talking to her business partner about Wendy's idea but she didn't say how that was going to help her or she was going to give her any advice or anything like that so that was shady too yeah, there was no. something about it I can't remember what it was that she said but it was something about it where I was like that was just really really shady mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't remember what it was but yeah she she wasn't saying that to help her at all no no not at all <laughs> but Wendy took it in stride she was like yeah you know there's room at the top for both of us you know did Wendy say that? I think well, no, Karen, Karen was did. saying that. Karen and Wendy that, was just agreeing because she, she didn't want to say anything to her because that's her only friend. <laughs> and a scholar. <laughs> Who's that's not even a housewife. So. You know what? You're absolutely right. Karen is her only friend now. Mm-hmm. That is it. Sometimes um, Candace is, but not a close friend, but, but not, not a now. Not now that she, Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't Wendy. It was Mia. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah they might she's point. not an enemy, but she's definitely not a close friend. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, Wendy is just Wendy and Karen. That's it. <laughs> Where <laughs> last true. year, it was the opposite. It was everyone was a friend but Karen. Mm-hmm. That That's is true. funny. That's a good point. Mm. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean... Wendy's Wendy just keeps rubbing the candles in her face. It, it doesn't sound like she's made any progress on her. No, nothing at all. So she might have to go back to the drawing board and think of something else. Yeah. <laughs> so the candle seems like it would be so easy. Yeah. Right. But it's she's not still, she got it together. Yeah. And the thing is, didn't um Karen say just like a couple of days prior to her her business manager coming over to her house? She said she had gone over to see um Karen's candle oh Wendy did mm-hmm. yeah oh, I thought she said she had just that. recently seen it oh I don't know because she, she was talking about how I had one wig versus yeah and three of it <laughs> she's gonna repeat that until the day she dies because <laughs> she says it all the time mm-hmm. okay so um the um, deal with, I thought that the setup that Giselle did for her party was cute. I did too. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. And um, the girls looked so adorable. Mm-hmm. And they were like, mom, please chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> so they seem like really good girls and they put it together really nice. And, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I do think it was nice. I with all the construction going on and mm-hmm. having the pe- construction people there on the day of the event, I, don't, mm-hmm. I just wouldn't have had it there. We, we could have rented out a venue. Right. Yeah, I agree. You don't need to see my house right now. <laughs> oh, no. just- or even do it at um, Robin's house that they're constructing. I think it would, it would have been less of a, like, you know, hectic that, there. That was under construction too, right? I know, but it didn't seem as crazy as Giselle's. Like, Giselle's renovation is like wild (laughs) (laughs) but everyone showed up and I was impressed with the deal that they got um with because they're doing it with iHeart Radio which Mm -hmm. is a huge you know um podcasting so kudos to them yeah it's just gonna be some rinky dinky thing that they were doing (laughs) on their own (laughs) yeah I didn't know that it was through iHeart either until she said it um I haven't I guess I should have, I, ha- I hadn't listened to an episode or anything. So I'll try to do that before okay. the next 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's find out if it's any good. Because we did see early a few episodes ago where they mm-hmm. were like doing an episode. Right. Right. So it, will, it would be nice to like see the production and, and how it comes out. Comes right. Out. Right. Yeah. I think it would be good because they're both interesting personalities, you know, so if they if they have the right topics and are open with discussing things and mm-hmm. not being closed off, I think it'll be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the one episode we saw, it did seem like they were open. Right. Right. Yeah. So but I like the like I didn't really know why they had the name that they had. So that, I thought that was oh yeah, that was that was really good, well thought out. Yeah, that was good. And all the girls agreed. They're like, oh, that's good. Even when yeah. right. and Karen, like she was being like like uh, Giselle said, vaccinated Karen. <laughs> right. Like she was being really supportive. It seemed like she was, she was really supportive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes I like Karen. Sometimes she's more like the old Karen, you know, instead mm-hmm. of the gone dom. But uh, so I, I don't know. We'll see. So um, this party started off shady. You know, I think that it would have went a lot better if they hadn't talked about the whole um, restroom gate. Like if they hadn't said, You know, some people weren't going to be allowed into the bathroom and others were. I think that set off the wrong tone. Mm -hmm. And put Karen and Wendy immediately on the defensive. Well, yeah, but Wendy's, I mean, Karen still participated. Okay. Karen was just all up in her, like, she just couldn't, she just had attitude. Yeah, yeah. And at that time, like at that point, just excuse yourself and leave. Cause right. But I don't think she would have had that attitude if they hadn't started off that being the first thing they said. Yeah. You know? That's true. But, so I think they kind of did it to get, you know, them going. You know, why mm-hmm. else would you do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? I agree. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know why they did that either, but yeah. Just to stir the pot. You know how <laughs> Giselle is. <laughs> And she doesn't care. That's the thing. She's the one who said it, not even Robin, like. (laughs) Right. But I thought the answers were, um, the questions were interesting. And I meant to go back and and write down the questions so that we could um, ask them to each other. I know. If they were reasonable, shady. (laughs) Yeah, but I didn't have a chance to because they ended it. It was 15 minutes longer. And uh-huh. with my DVR, while I'm watching, when I'm watching it, I can't rewind oh. or fast forward or pause. Okay. So it just plays. Um, but it would have been fun to ask each other the questions and and see what our answers. Yeah, were. and I can't remember. Yeah, all I remember was the last one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, the one that set off the bomb. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Of uh, was it reasonable or shady? To I kind of wish though. I wish they hadn't used like questions that you know had happened you know mm-hmm. on the mm-hmm. on the show season um mm-hmm. just because I mean they are trying to like celebrate their podcast like just mm-hmm. get some real different questions um that's not gonna offend anyone mm-hmm. just so that it could be like there's less arguing you know right. yeah um I just I, I just feel like it was just kind of throwing salt on the wounds oh definitely with the other questions and I, I just felt like it would have been a better party if they had just picked new questions right right and it also like during the, all the argument I was like oh my god this is too much this is too yeah. much arguing <laughs> like these are supposed to be grown you know women sophisticated women and they're mm-hmm. just like ad- acting crazy yeah you I know? mean Candace came out the gate have like in an argument because they were talking about that situation. Yeah. <laughs> and look, Candace is not like cut back on her words. She will cut you down with her, with her tongue, especially when she said um, to her mom, what did she say? Your mama's uh, to Mia's mom. Oh, like your mama's low, low budget. Low budget. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think she knows Mia's backstory. I don't think yeah, she got I don't think so. No. And it was like, damn girl, you hit hard. That was below the belt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, I mean, it's, 
it was like, you know, like when you, your mama just, so, I mean, it was just like, she was just coming back with your mama. So it's not like she, like you said, she didn't really know what was no. going on. And it was just right. a quick, like, comeback. So right. at least she has yeah. that in her defense and that she wasn't doing a personal attack. Right, yeah. Still. But Mia yeah. didn't back down. Mia's not afraid to argue with anybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is good. I mean, I think it's good that she's just kind of, like, she doesn't get angry. No, she stays home. Yeah. She doesn't really yell either, mm-hmm. you know? And then um, um, Ashley jumped in on the conversation where she had nothing to do with it. She wasn't there, <laughs> but you know, she had to put her dig in at Candace, you know? Yeah. 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 So I don't think they got anything resolved, like except for people getting angry when they mm-hmm. had made up. Yeah. You no. Know? Yeah. And then Karen, then, then Karen knew she shouldn't have brought up the trip. <laughs> so read the burn and bring it up and I know. Like, oh, I'm sorry that I you did that on purpose <laughs> <laughs> right. um so yeah they're gonna go on a trip on the eastern shore to the to beach. Chesapeake Bay. they're gonna go to the oh bay okay yeah I think um so. and it's supposed to be a couple's trip yeah um but we all know that Giselle's not in a relationship with anymore mm-hmm. even if she was she probably wouldn't then brought, brought that person anyway. no. No. Um, and then I guess I don't really understand. Okay. I think Juan's deal, is it that Juan's deal is that he doesn't, he just really doesn't like the show and he doesn't like participating in things. I mean, he used to go to some couples things, mm-hmm. like, but now he doesn't. Like the last thing that we saw um, with the other men was at his um, engagement party. When that party, um, when he mm-hmm. uh, proposed to Robin. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the last interaction we've seen with him, um, with the males. And he didn't even come to the reunion last season. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I think he's just over it, Mm -hmm. which I don't blame him. You know, Mm -hmm. most men would not want to come unless Mm -hmm. getting paid. (laughs) And for him, I don't think he even cares. Yeah. 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 He just wants to stay out of the drama, I think. But he might have come. And I think that, I don't know why Wendy is so mad at Robin when Robin wasn't even involved in that whole, well, she did say some stuff about the way that Wendy was dressing. So maybe that's why she's still so angry at, um, at Robin. Yeah, but I, and I also don't know like what is the basis for her saying that Robin's not in a relationship. I don't like, know, just is, because they haven't gotten married. It was COVID. Who's getting yeah, married during COVID? And, I mean, even when they really weren't in a relationship he was still around I mean they were living together so yeah still around um, and Wendy's never had any she didn't say anything about the relationship last year so I think just because Karen said something Wendy's now saying something mm-hmm. you know that's really weird to me I know I felt sad for Robin you know it's just ridiculous. so do we know if Giselle goes or if Robin goes we don't know because they did the preview and they um showed them talking about it um Robin was talking to Ashley about it but Mm -hmm. she didn't say if she was going or not she was like you know I don't understand why Wendy is saying the stuff that she's saying Mm -hmm. Uh, so I don't know you know and plus he's a coach so he might not have time to go away on a weekend trip yeah that's true yeah Hmm. we'll see hopefully I mean I think when the men are there it's always I mean as another element and mm-hmm. you know sometimes the women b- misbehave more sometimes right. they're a little calmer yeah um and also the men get into it. Do, you huh? think is go- do you think chris is gonna go i don't know you know it might be one of those situations where you know like when you get invited somewhere and you're like who else is going so <laughs> they <laughs> Some of the husbands may go if some of the other husbands go. I think that's probably how right. it work out. I definitely he's, think Mia's husband will probably go because oh yeah, exactly go. um Ascala's she was ready to bring her husband. So oh, that'll be our first time seeing him. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I think she yeah, yeah they showed a picture of him. Mm-hmm. Um and then Wendy will have her husband and then Karen will bring 
Ray. So bring Ray. <laughs> and you know, Ray and Chris don't get along because remember that reunion, they really got into it. Not the last, maybe it was the last one or the one before. Um, Chris and Ray, you know, when Ray was more lucid, um, got into it, you know. So okay. I, I didn't yeah. I don't think I remember that. I know mm-hmm. Michael, who is it? Michael and Chris. And Chris, yeah. yeah. And Michael and Ray. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so yeah, it can be interesting to have the husbands on there then. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> yeah. And I like all the husbands. Ray is just like whatever, but the rest of them, the rest of the husbands. He's just so fake. Him and Karen mm-hmm. are both so, so fake. fake. Every he time used to be real. Things, huh? He used, he used to be real until the season. <laughs> Now Something like, happened. We had to it's figure the money. out. Karen started making money. <laughs> well, how much money is she making? Like, I the people change his him. complete tune. <laughs> like, yes, one hundred and eighty degrees. Like and today, people, when those candles came, yeah. and um, it was some coming he was making. But I'm just like, why are you pretending like you into her? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk about the phone call. What phone call? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot about that mess. What so was, was that? that? Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> he, he made it seem like it was like a robot call, but what robot call do you get with someone's face? A, a picture. Yeah. Is that face? I don't have an Apple. Can you call with someone's picture coming? I have a Samsung. I Only if that person is in your phone, does yeah. it pop up? Right? Oh, you know what? Because my work phone is an Apple. I think maybe their picture may come up because my friend has texted me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their pictures do come up. Only if they're in your phone Mm -hmm. as a person. No. Because they're not in my work phone. No. So they've texted my work phone and um, their pictures have come up. Oh, okay. So maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Because sometimes if they send me videos, they look better from apple to apple so i'll let right, yeah text yeah. my work phone but yeah but i feel like she just kind of let that slide look too easy but <laughs> <laughs> we need to investigate a little further right right like you know like don't put, don't put your name don't say your name and then that's what made her get off the phone you know and then she's just kind of laughing it off and i'm just like uh, this is yeah. unbelievable to me like right either y'all staged this Right. Or something's going something on. Something else is going on. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree with that. That was so weird to me. <laughs> it was. <laughs> but we'll yeah. see. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, has Ray cheated or has that been an issue on the show? I don't think so. I okay, don't think okay. there have ever been any cheating. Room. No. Well, Giselle did say that Ray wanted to get with one of her friends really really badly Mm. yeah but there wasn't any rumors of ray cheating there was rumors of karen cheating with her trainer remember that Mm, i don't think so yeah yeah no i remember there was was a couple um, years ago monique and her trainer so everybody's sleeping with their yeah no it was her driver (laughs) sorry it was her blue-eyed driver it was her driver (laughs) yeah it was a big deal. Of course, Giselle was the one who brought it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, and it was a big deal. I think it was maybe two or three years ago, something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was an interesting episode. Yeah. A lot of arguing. I think next week there's going to be even more arguing. So we just got to get ready for it. I'm excited. Um, I mean, I really like trips you know like when they yeah. go on trips and stuff mm-hmm. because they're like constantly all together right um, right um so, yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it'll go well we'll see probably not <laughs> all, right. all right so um we're meeting again on wednesday mm-hmm. and it'll be married at first sight mm-hmm. yes we'll to go on another roller coaster yeah, uh, with their relationships. I've actually been watching the Married at First Sight Unfilters. Have you seen that? No, I haven't been watching it. I, I went back earlier today to start watching them because, mm-hmm. you know, like I just kind of want to see how they reflect back on some of the situations. And it's mm-hmm. been really 
Oh, interesting really? okay especially like johnny's feelings about bow and okay yeah so i've um i, I think it's good I, I think i have a few more to watch but okay um yeah so if you get time before wednesday check it out okay yeah i'll try to watch it they're only like half an hour right mm-hmm. yeah. yeah okay okay yeah i'll check it out well guys we're gonna end for now so don't mm-hmm. forget to subscribe to our page like our channel <laughs> comment <laughs> below subscribe to our ig page right. the real on the real and hit the notification bell <laughs> so you can <laughs> know when our videos come up uh-huh. so until next time bye everyone bye